Hey, how's it going? It's your boy, John Kendrick, Tech TV, and I'm here to show you guys another tutorial video of how you edit the sub menus and add ons in the digs in the next video. Running here on my Apple TV 4K, I am using Kodi 17.6 on the tvOS 11.3. Now, what I like to do when I first start up my uh, Kodi let it do its thing refreshing clearing the cache and everything else and synchronizing with my track tv settings um i let that do its thing i go ahead and i start going over as you can see um you know a lot of people be like well i don't see this i don't see that spinning on this depending on the speed of your processor um and your actual media streaming your device fire stick apple tv whatever you run on um that determines how long it takes the widgets to run up and how much memory and storage room and RAM you have on your device. Now, um, as you can see, it's loading right on up. Doesn't take too long. What I'm going to do, um, I did customize my, my sub menus as well. I'm going to go right into the settings. You want to go to skin settings. Go to the right, customize home menu. Now, what you're going to want to do here, go down to the movie hub because... You're gonna change um, the hub items. You're gonna click on the hub items because once you do that, it's gonna open this menu. Make sure you go down to search movie portal. When you go over here, you're gonna click on action. Now, the reason you wanna do this is because when you normally click on it and you go to search movie portal, it gives you an error because there's no action set for your um, dis favorites menu. So I'm gonna change this one of my favorite add-ons go down to add-ons go to video add-on then go up if you go up and you just go up a couple more times you're gonna see the scrubs add-on that's one of my favorites right now um, you click on that and all you're doing is just basically changing the file directory or whatever what it's gonna pull from once you're in here you're gonna want to go to movies then you're going to want to go up and go to search. Then you want to click on create menu item to here. And all that's going to do is change when you click on the movie hub from the main menu and you go to search movie portal. All it's going to do is take you straight to the uh, scrub search menu for movies. You want to do the same for the TV hub. You go over, go down to hub items. Click on it. Make sure you go to search TV portal, go to action, go down to the add-ons, video add-on, and go to scrubs. Go to scrubs, and then you're going to click TV shows. Search, create menu item to here. Make sure you do that for the TV hub and the search portal. And then you can actually customize whatever you want to do, move it up, move it down, rename them, label it, and um, change it as well. I added the anime. I took out Android because I'm running on Apple TV. I have no use for an Android menu there. So I changed it to a nine anime to where I could pull up um, my, my, my anime. I like to watch anime. That's why I changed it to, and it's going to pull up from there. You heard me? So once you do that, and you can also go to add-ons we're still in the settings you want to go to add-ons when you have a little time go to my add-ons once you do that go up go to video add-ons and here if you see scrubs down at the bottom right you can click on it this is how you get your one click play settings stay here in general go over to provider timeout you want to take that from 60 to 10 go to the left go to playback you want to change that to autoplay you want to change the progress dialog to background. Then you want to go to accounts. If you have a real debris account, it's a private network, run on uh, private servers, um, less traffic, fast streaming, no buffering. You want to change that um, and you can connect your real debris account. That way it's going to do it for all the settings. OK, once you do that, you want to press OK, save those settings. You can go down. You can do this for Exodus read up right there. You could do the same here. And like I say, this makes your experience with Cody and any build 
better. You want to change those settings in the video add-ons to where you can do one click, one play. You don't have to search for it. It's going to do it for you. You don't have to choose the quality. It's going to do it for you. Okay? Real simple. A lot of people don't know that. Completely changes your experience with Kodi. You could do the same for Siren. And if you go down after I leave Siren, you could do the same for Zim. Okay? That's just another add-on. And uh, you don't really use it. Now, what I'm going to do is go back to the main menu. I'm going to show you in the beginning what we changed in the skin settings. I'm going to show you what that did and and, and um, how it's going to increase your settings. A lot of people don't want to watch the movies that's in the widget. So they want to search for their own. You click on Movie Hub. Go down to Search Movie Portal. Click there. And now, voila. You're going to be able to search your own movies. Click New Search. I didn't know a particular movie I had in mind. I wanted to choose a random one. I just so happen to choose Friday. Now, what this does is it doesn't do a universal search in all the add-ons. It's just going to do it in Scrubs because that's the shortcut we set it to. Okay? Maybe in another video, um, I'll show you how you can use any add-on to search. This one particular just so happens to um, use Scrubs. Okay? If the movie didn't come up or show well in Scrubs add-on, you will need to go in the main um, menus from the home screen of Cody and the dig it's eminence bill. Go to add-ons, find a particular add-on you want to use, whether it's um, Exodus or any other add-on. Click on it and then you will see the sessions and options to search in that add-on. This right here is just my personal favorite, what I want to do. What I'm showing you right now is the setup I have that we just changed in the settings to autoplay and auto choose and all that. I have Real the Bridge set up on my account. That's why it's pulling up faster. That's why it's going to show clearer. That's why it's going to show without any buffering. Comes right on up. I'm going to go 30 minutes into this movie, man. I know you. Just to show you it actually works and it actually plays. All right, let's stop that. I don't want to get any violations. I'm going to go down to for, um, next Friday. I'm going to do the same for it, bro. And keep in mind, this is for people who already have uh, Diggs, Eminence set up on their 17.6 device. Um, Cody, it doesn't matter if you're on Apple TV or whatever. You could do these settings for that build just this way. My previous video showed you how to install a brief... Um, tutorial on how to install um you know Diz Eminence on any device particularly the Apple TV I'm gonna go down on Friday after this and show you that place as well and um if you guys need me to do any videos just let me know leave it in the comments I will do them man when I have time I'm very busy busy man um yeah so you do this I'm gonna show you it plays as well I'm gonna go 30 minutes into the video just for show and, show and tell, show and proof, you know. Very clear. Um, sounds great. No lag, no Go buffering. Ahead, you can't talk to and I'm going to stop it and let it play. Go back to the main menu. Go over to TV Hub. Don't go up, just click. Click TV Hub. Go down to Search TV Portal. And it's going to go to the settings we had set for it in the scan settings. And voila, you'll be able to search for your own, your own TV shows. Um, a lot of people get it confused. You have to go up if you want to scroll through the widgets and you go down if you want to just stay on the main menu and actually choose that uh, icon. All right, man. So what I'm going to do here, pretty much wrap up the video quick.